Three people have been killed in a Houthi missile strike on a commercial vessel in the Gulf of Aden. In the first deadly attack since the Iran-backed group began its assaults on shipping in the region. The Barbados-flagged True Confidence was hit 54 nautical miles southwest of Yemen's port of Aden. The UK's Maritime Trade Operations Agency says the vessel has suffered damage and has been abandoned by its surviving crew members. It marks a major escalation in the rebel group's attacks on merchant ships in the Middle East, a campaign that was started in response to Israel's war on Hamas in Gaza. The naval forces of the Yemeni armed forces carried out a targeting operation against the American ship, True Confidence, in the Gulf of Aden, with a number of naval missiles. The strike was accurate and led to a fire breaking out on a vessel. The targeting operation came after the ship's crew ignored warning messages from the Yemeni naval forces. Well, Yemen's Houthi began their campaign in November by seizing the Galaxy Leader, a Bahamas-flagged carrier. The group said it would target ships affiliated with Israel. Since then, dozens of foreign-owned vessels have been fired upon. This week, a Liberian-flagged Swiss-owned container carrier was struck by a Houthi anti-ship missile. The Indian Navy responded to help extinguish a fire on board. No injuries have been reported from that incident. Airstrikes led by the US and UK and backed by Australia have failed to halt the attacks. Britain and the US have condemned what they call the Houthis' reckless and indiscriminate campaign on ships transiting through the Red Sea. The United States will continue to hold the Houthis accountable for their attacks, which have not just uh, disrupted international commerce, not just disrupted the freedom of navigation in international waters, uh, and not just endangered seafarers, but now tragically killed uh, a number of them. So we will continue to uh, hold them accountable, and we call on governments around the world to do the same. Well, many shipping firms have already halted operations along the quickest and cheapest east-west trade route. The United Nations estimates traffic through it has fallen by 42 per cent in the past two months. Instead of going direct from Singapore to Rotterdam via the Suez Canal, commercial cargo vessels are now taking the long way around the southern tip of Africa, adding weeks to the journey time and thousands to the cost of moving goods. Well, aside from the impact on global trade, there's also the danger to the environment. There are fears of an ecological disaster after the sinking of a UK cargo ship in the Red Sea following a Houthi attack. The Ruby Mar, it went down carrying 21,000 tonnes of fertiliser. Scientists say that amount could trigger massive algal blooms, create dead zones for marine life and starve sensitive coral reefs of light. Any cleanup and assessment of the damage has been complicated by the risk to salvage ships.